Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, y'all know what today is. It is the third two. No, it's the first Tuesday. This is the first, first Tuesday. Tuesday. It's the first Tuesday <laughs> of November. We November six. Yeah, uh, official election night. Hope you guys went out and voted. Hope, hopefully, a lot of you all are at the polls right now. If or, not, oh well. Uh, well, wait. Seven o'clock. Polls are shutting down. So I hope you. If you ain't making by now, what you had to do. It ain't happening for um, you. I, of course, we're we're excited. I'm, I'm going to be watching uh, closely CNN and watching the uh, local news mm -hmm, mm -hmm, after mm -hmm. we get off here. Yep. So, um, guys, you know we haven't been on. We haven't did a show in a little more than a half. Um, tragic reasons happening. Uh, we lost our dear friend and sister, um, Chelsea, Chelsea Ray, and her her three ch beautiful children, which is one is our godson Chase. Um, so we kind of put things on halt, and we just kind of just shut down completely for that. Uh, we do apologize. Um, you know, some people, they say some people handle grief in a different way. Um, obviously, um, we don't handle it. We, so. We're not handling it very well. Yeah. Um, we're not handling it at all. Um, it, it's, it's Even though it's been over a month now, um, it still hurts. Um, we both still find ourselves crying I'm in the middle of the day for no reasons. Well, for a reason, but we don't know. We just understand why I don't, um, what I do with myself. Um, so we just kind of shut everything down. Uh, we did. There's no more TPN filming anything. So you guys heard it from myself, my voice. I'm not filming anything TPN related for the rest of the year. I'm done. TPN is shut down. We're, we're in hibernation. Uh, we're just sitting back, we're getting our stuff together, and we're just calculating our minds on what we want to do next and how we want to go forth in the future with um, the new stuff that we do plan on doing. But we're in no rush right now. You know, okay. Um, so I do want to apologize for those who who been hitting me up, asking me about my next casting and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and another thing, I'm, I'm not doing any more mentoring and teaching of filmmaking and, and anything like that. Um, so if you guys have any questions on that, you guys can refer to my book, which is on Amazon called How to Make Movies and Money Manual. Um, over the last couple of days, I've had a lot of people come to me and asking about that. Um, it's nothing personal against you. I'm just not in that mind frame right now to do any teaching or mentoring in the film business. Mm -hmm. But you can um, read my book, and it'll definitely give you step by step. It'll get you on the, on the right path you need to get to if you're trying to trying to break out on your own. Um, so, just want to give you that heads up, and you hear it from me. Don't think that I'm just being neglectful or anything like that. I'm just yeah. I'm just taking my time to 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 fit, help me right now, and I can't help you if I'm broken. Okay, so that's what's going on with us right now. Um, but other than that, what you got going on? Um, that's it, y'all. We're just trying to get uh, you know, just uh figuring things out um the last show we did was back in september yeah, i think 18th. september 18th 18th yeah two days before. yeah it was two days before um everything happened and um so it just you know it just really it knocked us uh off our block i mean i'm, I'm not even gonna lie about that so um as far as grief this is the first time that we both had to you know deal with something so tragic together out of the 11 years that we've been together yeah and um so we see how we both handle grief we don't <laughs> handle it well at all no. um so when when you know when i'm i'm broken he's strong for me and when he's broken i have to be strong for him so i'm more broken than uh, she is on most days so she's she's taking up a lot of slack <laughs> yeah i mean well you did in the beginning for me so yeah. uh this is your time and i get it you did a lot in the beginning. Um, so without further ado, we have Miss Latoya Perry on yes. the line. She's going to tell me how to get your stuff together. That's right. Get your finances in order because if you want to buy that new Maybach and you got a 500 credit score. And, it ain't going to happen. Or well, if it do happen, if you do might it. have a, a, a car loan or a car note interest rate out yeah. of this world. Or, or what I do on Facebook. You go to Tidal Max, get you $700 and pay $96 for 22 months. <laughs> Right. You can do so, that. So that might work out. Yeah. So th this is why we've been having these shows. We've been having a lot of the financial shows, guys. And then we now we're embarking into the credit side of it because it goes hand in hand. It's very, very important, mm -hmm. um, especially for our people this day and in, in time. It's very important to get this stuff together. Yeah. And um, and as for us, uh, it's very, very important. So I'm, we're going to share, you know, some personal things on our side as well so hopefully you all have questions mm -hmm. you guys know that you can you can post your questions on here and hopefully miss perry will be able to answer it for you and if she can't right then and there on the show um you will have her contact information you can send it to her in an email and uh she can get back with you so without further ado mm -hmm. let's bring on miss latoya perry 
That's let's, my drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to get rid of that. You might oh, want to really? get rid of the drum roll. Hey, let's well, go. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we hear you just fine. Thank you for coming on with us. I know we had to we had to keep counseling the show, so we do yeah, apologize. We do apologize. It's uh, all right. It's okay. I understand. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you for yeah, understanding that. So, you. so Toya, what is it that you do? Okay. So <clears throat> my company actually does a couple of things. Um, our main thing that we do is credit repair. We actually help you not only get items removed off your credit, but we also help you maintain it so that you won't have to go through those same issues again. And if things happen, because, you know, we all go through certain things, you will know how to fix it. Okay. So I, I teach you what to what not to do. <laughs> okay, okay. So what, what, what brought you into this business? Like, why, why did you get yourself involved with something like this? So, um, actually, I started out just doing income taxes. I've been doing income taxes for a little over 10 years now. And I was looking for something else that I could offer my clients that goes hand in hand with what I was already doing. So I was already dabbling in the financial side. So I was like, okay, credit repair is something that we all need. And I always wanted to do something where I could actually help people. So this is my way of helping people get a second chance. Okay. Now, let me say this. Um, I'm, I know many of you say, well, I, I do credit repair. I do credit repair, which is all great. Thank you. Um, but one of the things that stood out to me was Sirwa had posted um, that you helped her. She had this long post <laughs> and I actually read the whole thing <laughs> and she was raving on how um, knowledgeable you were. Yes. And how much you helped her um, and not even having to touch the computer or anything on her side, just helping her being able to go through what she was trying to, um, you know, do whatever pertaining to her credit. And I said, yeah. well, wow, you know, that's awesome. That's somebody that we would want to talk to, you know, and, and bring on the show. I mean, because you came highly recommended uh, yeah. through her. Yeah. So what are some of the things that you that, that people need to know about? That they need to come to you first. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what should, what's some things they need to know first before they come to you? Okay. So, my main thing is a lot of people, I didn't realize how many people don't know how to read their actual credit report. So, that's like a big thing because if you don't know how to read it, then you don't know what you're looking for. You don't know if things are incorrect or if it's reporting correctly. Like, you can have all different kinds of mistakes on there, but you wouldn't know because you don't even know how to read it. Right. So I actually started offering free um free online courses, well, like an online webinar that I actually teach you how to read your credit report, because that's like the biggest thing for me. You need to know how to read it so you know what to attack and what to work on so that you can improve it. Okay. Absolutely. Because let me tell you something, downloading my credit report, his credit report, and my son, my son don't have too much. He's, you know, fresh out of college, but he still have a few... Um, hospital bills and credit cards mm -hmm. um, but just going through all of that and just trying to you know get through it and decide for what's what because what what experience experience may have transunion may not have or Equifax. Exactly. and i'm like why is that why is it that you can have three different scores and things can be uh so different on each credit report can you explain that Yes. So what happens is, OK, when, depending on where you go, all companies don't report to all three credit bureaus. Some only report to one, some report to two, some do report to all three. So it's actually up to the actual company if they decide that they want to report to all three or not, because it costs them money to report these things on your credit. So mm -hmm. if they offer that to you, it's good that they offer that service for you, because that's why you see a lot of places that are like buy here, pay here for us car lots and stuff because they don't want to pay that little fee. And it's not even a big fee. They just don't want to pay it to be able to help you actually increase your credit score and things. So when you look at your scores, you see three different ones because hospital bills normally will be on all three. Mm -hmm. If a car, <laughs> car dealership, sometimes depending on where you go, it'll be on all three or sometimes it'll just be on two. So it all depends on the company itself and how they report it. Okay. Well, why would we have three reports? I mean, um, viewers anyway, why we need three people to report to? Like, why we just have one? That, that's a question that we do not know. I want to know that too. I'm like, <laughs> why do I have three separate credit agencies? Like, what's the point? But 
and everybody looks at different ones. So it's like, it depends. So the same way how you was asking, um, why does it only show on certain ones and not the other ones? Because if you go, like, let's say you go to a car dealership, they may only pull your experience report and that's the report they're going to look at. So that'd be the one that they report to, but they may also report to the other ones, but they're not obligated to. I, so one time I went to Delta and I was trying to get a loan. I think the car, car loan in my name. Mm -hmm. So they went on ahead and pulled my experience. Now, I had already looked at like my, I think it was my Equifax or my, my Equifax credit score. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm good. I'm good. Cause you know, I talked to the people on the phone. I said, what your credit score have to be? They told me, I was like, oh, sh bet. I got this in the can. Got to Delta and they pulled that experience. So <laughs> I was like, but if you pull an Equifax, <laughs> you will see something different. It was like, no, ma'am, we don't work with TransUnion. Right. Work with experience. And I said, well, can we can we put up what? a lawsuit against them and say no, discrimination? Yeah, <laughs> no, no, because they can they that's why this this three different ones they can use whichever one they want to. <laughs> right, and I'm like, and TransUnion always behind. I don't know why, but they're always behind. Um, now one thing before uh, my sis my sis died, she was uh, she had learned a lot about doing credit repair on her own mm -hmm. because her husband uh, she and her husband was starting a business. So she came over and she worked with me and gave me a plethora of information, right? Mm -hmm. I was still confused, <laughs> but I was still trying to work through it. And um, one of the things that she did say was the first thing to do is to start getting your um, the, your names that you don't use anymore, your yes. old addresses. Can you go yes. into that, please? So it's not going to increase your score. But it helps you far as like if so if you pull your report and it's not going to you're going to have different addresses on all three reports, too, which is so crazy. But you don't have to have those old addresses on there. You can actually have them removed and only have your current address that's displaying on your credit report. Same with phone numbers. Um, if you have different spellings of your name, like say somebody tried to use your name and then they didn't even spell your name correctly. When you get those, when you dispute those things, it'll actually help you far as some of those accounts that's on your credit too, because if that address is removed, then that account that's attached to that address will more than likely be removed. Girl gone. I ain't know that part. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look, at that. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. So that was one of the things she did. And I, and I went through and I did that um for both of us and i was like okay whoo that was a lot that was like three months ago though because i was like oh, yeah, it, is a lot. it is definitely a lot of work when you're trying to do it yourself yes it's a lot so i i, I told bobby because we're trying to buy a house in in 2019 2020 we're giving ourselves about a year or so and um i told him i said we need to get someone I, our credit is not it's not, it's little stuff on there, like, you know, that, that can probably be disputed and all that kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. then it, it's, for me, it was my student loans. Okay. Them student loans told me up. Yeah, they tear everybody up. Because <laughs> I'm like, it was one, one of my student loans I could never get uh, done because it was a consoli consolidation loan mm -hmm. uh, with my ex-husband. And he was going through uh, a tragic time with losing his mom. So it went like almost a year and I couldn't get it into uh, for because they wouldn't just talk to me. They had to talk to both of us. So mm -hmm. now it's in a repayment plan, but it's in collection still. So we got to pay the payment plan, you know, through the collections for nine months. So tell me this after that collection, mm -hmm. we paid it for nine months. Would I be able to, to dispute that? So the nine months, it all depends. So are they, do they have you on like a payment plan where in nine months you won't owe them nothing else? No, I, in nine months, I just won't be in collection <laughs> and then I got to go back to the student loan, the original. Okay, so you're not in collections, you're in default. Right, I'm in default. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are two different things. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so a collection is like if they sold your account off and somebody else is now over it, so now you have to deal with them. But okay. if you're paying them and you're in default, so because you, if you would have talked to me before you started making that payment, we could have did something different. But because you already got that payment set up, now you're just going to have to keep working with them because you done already pretty much confirmed that it belongs to you. Mm, son of a biscuit eater. So if I, if I would have talked to you previous to you doing that, we could have went a different route. 
but you've already confirmed it now. So would it be obsolete for you to go in and try to dispute it when mm -hmm. you've already confirmed that it's yours because you indeed have been making payments on it? So the only thing I can tell you for is that is they do have a um, program on the student. I think it's, is it studented.gov? It's the, the website that you go to for the student loans. I think it's studented.gov. But if you go on there, they have this program where you can get into where you um, the payments are based on your income. Mm -hmm. yes. So you may not even have to pay a payment, but it still counts as if you're made a payment and you get a bill every month is just for zero dollars. Mm -hmm. So once they do that, then it'll um, that program will um, help you be able to drop some of your loan off. Right. So that's right. So that's the income driven um, payment plan, repayment plan that I'm in for my other student loans. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't do it for the one that was they in default. When you get them out of default, you'll be able to. OK. OK. Yeah, that was that was major for us. So now what are some of the so I mean that right there, because I'm sure a lot of people that has gone on to school and graduated deal with this whole student loan situation because mm -hmm. we couldn't buy a house because it was like, well, your debt to ratio, your debt to income mm -hmm. ratio was off because of the student loans. And I'm like, what do I do? I can't so you mean so me with that house? Certain depending on who your mortgage broker is, because I know someone who had that same issue and they told them all they had to do was provide have um the student loan people provide them a paper saying what their monthly payment is, and they was able to use that instead of the whole loan when it came to their debt to income ratio. Ain't that something? So what? it all depends. Yeah, like ask somebody else. I'm a, let me. I have a mortgage broker that I work with. I'm gonna ask him and see if he know about it, and then I will pass that information to you. Sweet, sweet, oh, sweet. Oh yeah, that's, so, that's 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 wonderful. I got a question. Well, actually, I want you to give me an example. Like, what is what is one of the worst case that you had that you brought somebody out of? Um, um, let me see. Worst case. Yeah, I had someone who had a few liens, like tax liens. Okay. That I was able to get deleted off for her and then set up payment arrangements so they won't reappear back. Now, now how, how did that work out? Yeah. So so it 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 all depends. <laughs> I mean, I can't it's it's a it's a process that you go through. It can be done. It's mm -hmm. just a process that you have to go through in order to to get it done. Like you got to know what to say to them. Okay. Okay. So and, the point is, so even though they remove it off of your credit, that doesn't mean you don't still owe them. That just means it's not showing up on your credit report when somebody else try to pull it. So that's why you got to go after you have them remove it off, then go in and set up payment arrangements. Because with tax liens, you can set up a payment arrangement for as little as ten dollars a month, as long as you're making a payment on it. They won't put it back on your credit. Ah. Okay. 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 Communication when it comes to credit and debt and things, communication is like the biggest thing. Don't ignore these people when they send you these letters in the mail. You have to communicate with them and let them know. If you can't afford what they're asking, just tell them, hey, well, I can't afford that, but I can't afford this. They're not going to turn away any portion of the money. They want to try to get what they can get for what you so, owe. If, so if I get a stone loan, they say, hey, you owe $100. And I say, I can't pay $100, but I can pay a dollar. They'll take that. No. Oh. No. Okay. I'm about to send no. a letter right now. I'm like, look. No. But if you so let's say, let's say this. So you have an account for hundred dollars. Uh -huh. You have you can send them something. Make sure you always send something in writing so uh -huh. that you get confirmation sent back to you in writing so you can have your proof. So if you ever have to go back up against them, you can have your proof. Hey, this is what you said. I have it in writing. When you are trying to do um pay for deletes. When you make a payment or you do a settlement amount, make sure you put it in writing and have them agree to delete it off your credit. If you don't, all they're going to do is update it as paid and it's not going to help you. So, I mean, so what the letter guy said, hey, um, delete delete this stuff off my credit and then send me a, uh, send a letter back state that they did that? Or I mean, how, how, what do you mean? Yes, you could do one or the other. So if you send them a letter yourself, so let's say you got a settlement offer in the mail. Uh-huh. The settlement offer in the mail, or you call them. You can even call them. If you call them on the phone, you request something in writing. Okay. They can email it to you or they can mail it to you. Long as you have something in writing that's agreeing to what you guys discussed over the phone. Okay. Okay. So, so like, let me give you an example. 
Got I had there. a client. She um she had an apartment on her credit, and it was stopping her from being able to move into the new apartment. So she couldn't wait for the dispute process because the dispute process takes up to thirty days. Mm-hmm. So she couldn't wait that long. She needed it right now. So we had to do what you call a pay for delete, where we offer them a lesser amount for them to delete it off. Yeah. Oh, now, I didn't know you now, could do that. I got a question because when Renee got first moved here, she moved to an apartment complex and somebody had the same exact name she had, but they wouldn't let her get the apartment because that person owed money. Now, Renee didn't know this person whatsoever, but they just had the same name. Mm-hmm. So the rental they office... Connected. It has to be connected to her social. They did it. They denied me and they fought me tooth and nail. I sent them proof that I had um, purchased a house in Detroit at that time. And they would not rent that apartment. My mom ended up having to get that apartment for me in her name. They were just being nasty. You probably need to stay there no way. I probably yeah, did. She, 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 <laughs> after we got together. Yeah, yeah. After we got together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were, Um, it was it was horrible. And I had that happen to me twice since I've been here in Georgia. I had to actually go to court for um a bill that wasn't mine. And mm. the description and how how I got it thrown out of court is because the description was a total opposite of me. And Tell me how to describe the person, right? How she physically looked, and yeah. um, and I was like, but it's it was a different social security number, but I think our birthday was the same and our name was the same, and um, and you know, it's just when you're, I guess, when your identity is trying to be stolen or whatever the case may be, you just got to go through so much when it comes down to this. Credit. It is. It is a lot that you deal with for identity theft. So what's the best way to protect your credit? So they have different, um, they have a lot of different things. Now you actually can do, LifeLock is a program that I actually like. I really like them because it locks your credit. Can't nobody like you in order to use my credit, you would have to provide proof. It's tedious and it's extra stuff that you would have to go through when you're trying to apply for something on your own. But if you plan for it, it's a smooth transition. So I feel like LifeLock is something really good because it locks your stuff down. But if you can't afford to do LifeLock, you can do what they call a fraud alert, which will do the same thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I did that when... um when that, that stuff happened, but it, it only lasts for a certain amount of time. Right. The only, that was the only difference with it. It only, after a certain while, it lifts off. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, um, what is your, what's your question? No. So now as far as buying a house now with this whole credit score thing, yes. okay, I have a few people and, and also, um, ourselves, we are talking about buying a home. Mm-hmm. What is the best a uh, credit score to have within reason <laughs> to get a decent uh, mortgage, I guess. Yeah. It depends on what you're trying to do. It's a lot of different loans out there. You can actually qualify to purchase a home with a minimum of a 588 credit score, but you will have to pay your own down payment and your own closing costs. Hmm. So you be coming out of the pocket paying more money to go that route. Okay. If, if you get in, so like the next program, they it all depends. So they have another one that requires you to have a six fifty, and I want to say that's the um, USDA that's hundred percent financing. You got to have a six fifty or higher to qualify for that. But of course, the higher your score, the lower your interest rates is going to be. Mm-hmm. So you want to get that score up as high as you possibly can. Right. So, and that's where you would come in. So that's where we would come in and, and hire you, you for your services. Right. So yeah. how, how long does that process take? I mean, so somebody want to hire you, I mean, is it, is it month to month or is it like a year or six months? How does that work with you? So my plans are, I have, it's, I only have one plan, but just two different options to pay. And then I also do couples discounts too. So if you're married or you're living in the same household, I consider that as one income. So you will get a discount for both of you guys. You won't have to pay like what a single person would pay times to. I'll give now you what a about book. me, my wife, and my girlfriend. Well, how would that work? <laughs> don't get busted on those. No, I don't get a discount for two people, couple. Uh, uh, <laughs> that third you. person will be paying that single person price. <laughs> he tried it. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> but no, I uh the way my plans work is you can pay, it's a six-month plan. It's a hundred dollars initial fee or fifty dollars with fifty dollars a month for six months, or you could do our paid in full option where you still get the same service, you just don't have the monthly fee where it's two fifty up front and it covers the full six months. Okay. Oh, so, okay. so two fifty for six months? 
Mm-hmm. And then, and then, and so you would do all of this, this disputing and you would go through all of that. You would keep up with all of that for those six months. Yep. And then show us how to maintain. Yep. You'll get, um, you'll get a credit repair where I go through and do, um, submit the disputes on your behalf for you. And you're also, I'll let you know what different things, like I have a lot of clients who need to, because they have so many negative things, they need to rebuild now. So they have to open up new stuff like they're starting fresh. I have a list of accounts that I work with that I know would help you with the rebuild process so that you can build your score back up. Now, so all of that is included in the price. Now, what about the six months the score doesn't change? Do you get a refund or how does that work? So, well, we do offer a refund if you're not satisfied with the service, but I have yet to have that issue. <laughs> well, I mean, but, but you know, you know, you know how we do. Like, look, my score was right. five eighty five when I first met you. It only went up to five eighty six. So, like, why I gotta pay two hundred fifty dollars? So, this is my thing. I don't focus on when we do the credit repair part. I, my focus is not your credit score. My focus is getting those negative items off that's hurting you. Because regardless, you're going to need those things removed. Depending on how long those items been on your credit will fluctuate. So you will see your scores going up and down, going up and down, going up and down until all of those things are gone. And then you can start the rebuild process to move it back up. But it all depends on how bad your actual credit is. Okay. Oh, okay. Because I have some people who are good, like they have good accounts, so they just need like a couple of negative things removed so they don't have to go through the rebuild process. If that's the case. What about evictions and bankruptcies? Yes. So I actually offer a free step-by-step template for bankruptcies because bankruptcies take a lot. If I do it for you, it's going to cost a lot more than what my normal price is. But if you do it yourself, I can give you the steps for free. So I do offer that. And there's a link on my um, Instagram, which my Instagram is at miss.latoya.com. That Perry, I believe. <laughs> I believe it's too dot. I think it's miss.latoya.perry. It's if you go on my Instagram and you click my um link that's in the bio, you will see the steps for the bankruptcy deletion. You can actually get those steps from there. Okay. But I do offer that. And then I can do I do evictions too. You can do evictions as well. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, we definitely uh we're definitely gonna talk to you. Um, about this credit repair thing because baby look I mean my head was swimming when she was showing me and I, I got like the first step and then I was like I'm tired and it's been three months <laughs> and I haven't done I haven't gone back to it so well, I got perfect credit so I, I don't know what you're talking about no you don't, <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> we share a lot of credit that's all right we're gonna get you guys in the home by your deadline <laughs> yeah that's what we need because I'm like bro. and plus he have um we can do the VA loan with him. Oh, that's good. That's good. So you get other benefits with your VA loan. I need to look it up to see what your minimum credit score has to be for a VA loan. That's the only loan I haven't looked at. Somebody said a 615. Oh, that's not bad. Is your minimum. I believe he might. Now, he might. That He might have that. that I'm, I'm way. But, I'm, I'm like eight something. Boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm like eight. <laughs> Oh, you talking about? I'm like, hey. that good interest rate in the eight hundred. <laughs> because I'm going to dispute it. I'm like, hey, if you go look at this other uh, credit union, the fourth one y'all know about is is eight hundred on the fourth one. So I go, I'm, that's what I want y'all to look at the, the fourth one, not the, all the three first one, but the fourth one. I do. Let me ask you a question. I do have a question for you. When you look at your credit scores, what are you? Where are you looking at them at? So the top number on the page. <laughs> You don't know because you don't be doing it. Credit, okay, so I know that Credit Karma doesn't give you your your uh, accurate credit score. So I can't... it does for the score that it's reporting. Oh, really? Yes, there are two different types of scores. Okay, you have FICO and then mm-hmm. you have Vantage. Credit Karma shows you Vantage, which is not what but mortgage. Other... Score, that's not what they look at. Right, so you got to pay to get your FICO score. Yes. The yeah. and, and see, I, I didn't pay to get my FICO score because I figured my Vantage score is horrible, so ain't no sense of me paying my money Not right necessarily. now. <laughs> you don't think so? Not necessarily. If you're looking at Credit Karma, you can, your Credit Karma score could be low, and then you can pull your FICO score and it could be high. It all depends. I've had some whose Credit Karma is higher than their regular score. I have some whose regular score is higher than their Credit Karma score. It all depends. Because Credit Karma updates every seven days. Mm. 
the, most of other people is every 30 days. Right. Okay. But your score changes every day. Oh, yeah. See. So, so you got to pick a good day that You know what? I, I, I feel lucky today. My shit going to look good. On <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't even but look if, at it. If, if you beat it under control and you know how to manage it, then it wouldn't matter what day you choose. You know right. your credit still going to be popular. On Monday, it look good on Monday. So let's check it out. Let's do everything on Monday. We're going to buy a house on a Monday. <laughs> We were trying to do it on Friday. It, just, it might not work out. Bad look, bad look. <laughs> like, like she was telling me about, even with your credit cards, how the dates, like the due date and then the statement date or something like that makes a big difference in when mm -hmm. you're paying off your balance on your credit card and when they report it to your, your credit bureau. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I didn't forgot, you know, like which one was the most important already. But They I just, report for you, on your statement date. They report on your statement date. So if your statement yeah. date is like... So if your statements first. come out... Yes, that's when they reporting it to the credit bureau. Oh, see, see. So you, know let me tell you a trick. Let me tell you a trick with these late payments. So mm -hmm. your due date, yes, your due date is the 15th. But let's say you don't get paid until the 25th. It's not going to affect your credit score long as you pay it before that statement date. You will just occur a late fee with that company because you paid it past your due date. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. See, Capital One is slick though because I paid my 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 credit card bill was due on the twenty first. I paid it on the twenty first, which was on a Sunday, but I paid it, and they still mm -hmm. um said that it was considered late. I still got to call them and dispute that. Yeah, and they they charge like a thirty something dollar um. Late fee because it was Sunday like at five o'clock, so it was all shut down. And it was oh, like after the closing day, so technically you paid the next day, right? But I don't think it was it was it wasn't that late on the Sunday, but it was on the Sunday. It probably, whatever time they closed that day, you know, so that's probably what it was. Well, yeah, I need to, I'm gonna call and dispute that. Um, I do know that you can you know dispute a lot of things with these credit card companies. I've had to you know put on that hat a lot. Yeah, they need to fix that. That's not cool. Yeah. So it's good. So I'm I'm glad to know that the, there is hope, like Miss Kiss uh, King just said. There is. I can, hold on one second. I can't hear you anymore. Okay. Uh oh. We hear you fine. Mm hmm. Can you hear us? Hold on one second. Okay. So we can hear her, guys. So um, for those of you that's out there, if you have any questions, you go ahead and post your questions now, um, so that we can ask uh, Miss Perry. Uh, we have about another, maybe about another five to seven minutes. Uh -oh. she went we lost her. Okay, when she come no, back she in, come back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some questions answered. If you have any questions out there in regards to credit, her website is scrolling there at the bottom. So if you want to visit her website, get information about Did it. Keep me off. Yeah, it kicked uh -huh. me off, but we brought you back in. <laughs> Can you see us? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Hello. Hello, we're waving. Something happened. Something happening with the connection. But anyway, her website what happened? is down. There. Can you still hear me? It's froze. I don't hear nothing now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, put it in the group chat. So, um, hi everyone. Do credit companies remove debt after so many years, even though you're still responsible to pay it? That's a great question, Stephanie. When she come back online. I'm going to ask her. I know that um, they say after seven years, uh, uh, you know, it's supposed to automatically remove. But I have a question. That, that's a good question. So when she come back on, we're going to ask her about that. And we're also going to ask her um, about bankruptcies because they say after, I think, seven years, a bankruptcy is supposed to be uh, removed off your credit. Um, so when she comes back in, we're going to definitely ask her that question. Thank you for that question, Stephanie. So let's bring her back in on the line. Can you hear us now? <laughs> yes. I don't know what happened. Uh, <laughs> uh. So we have our first question. She says, okay. um, this is from Stephanie Peterson. And she says, hi, everyone. Do credit companies remove debt after so many years, even though you're still responsible to pay it? Yes, it's seven years. Unless it's, it's seven years for regular collection and charge-offs. But if it's like um, bankruptcy, it depends on which bankruptcy you choose because it could be 10 years for that one okay so yeah so like a chapter seven bankruptcy yeah that's 10 years 
I think seven is 10 years, and then the chapter 13 is seven years. Don't quote me. I'm not really familiar with how long these bankruptcies last. I just know how to get them off. <laughs> I know that's right. That's all we need to know. That's it. You like it last three, like <laughs> caught her last three days. She like, shoot. <laughs> shoot. Thirty days. I got you. Thirty days is it. That's it. The, the bankruptcy. We went through a hard period in um in our lives. Of actually, when I before I moved here, I went through. I was a a, a product of the Detroit environment. Uh, when the when the whole um automotive companies crashed and all of that stuff happened in Detroit. When uh oh, what happened? Like every job that I was getting, because I was a contractor, I'm in IT, so I was always a contractor, so I was always the first to go. Um, so I kept losing my job, and I had just purchased a house at that time. So I had, and I had two cars. I lost my house to foreclosure. Um, I lost my cars to um, repossession, and one of them was a write-off, which I ended up having to pay the car, pay for the car a couple years ago because they came back and put it on my uh, on my taxes as earned income. So I ended up having, oh, wow. yeah, so I had to pay IRS and I, I'm, thank God we're done paying that. Um, so it was so many things that happened, um, you know, during that period of time. And then once we got together, of course, things, life happened, family happened, job loss, different things like that. So when I tell you, we've experienced some uh, from judgments, even when we first got together, he had judgments on his credit. Now I was able to dispute that. I don't know how I did it. I looked some stuff up online and I was able to get that off. <laughs> <laughs> and this was like maybe what 10 years ago I guess so I was able to do that for him but for me it was harder because it was like big stuff foreclosures um yeah I had know, big all stuff. that kind of stuff so it was it was it was really really bad and I was just the like bigger stuff is a lot harder to get removed it's easier to do pay for delete for those pay for delete and I never knew that even with an eviction I didn't know that you can do a pay for delete you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I mean, because people suffer like you really after you get an eviction and, and we can testify to that um, after you get an eviction, you suffer for like seven years before people will even right. look at renting to you. But, you know, I think it all depends on the person, too, because I was working on some I was working on a um, client's credit and she had like. Seven apartment complexes on there. And I'm like, how did they even keep letting you rent places? Right. <laughs> you it, 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 the person, the person, you know. Yeah, that was like, I mean, it depends yeah. on who the person is. Because I've seen people with lots of different apartment complexes on there. And I'm just like, if I pulled your credit and I saw this, I wouldn't give you no place. You wouldn't be renting my place. You, you know, already own four other people. people. You, got, you got to know how to talk to people and, and have your lie together. And excuse well, me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, when we first moved, when before we moved here, we was uh, our foot was was uh, literally out the door, and our other foot was on the banana on the banana pill of being homeless. We was gonna be homeless with five children. Um, the place that we were staying in, they had an online portal where you can pay your rent. I paid mm -hmm. my rent online. It didn't go through, but I paid on that last day before it's considered late. And it didn't go through, so that next day it was late. So we had a, a extra two hundred and something dollar fee added. So on top of us already scraping, because neither one of us was working. I was in school. He was in school, so um, we had to scrape to get our rent. And then when we did get the rent, then we had an extra two hundred fifty dollars added on as a late fee the next day because their portal wasn't working. Right. It so, was on their side. Right. So we had to scrape up that. By the time we got that, it was going into the time for them to file for an eviction after I think 15 days they were very strict and we begged and begged them you know please work with us take the money they would not they said they went on ahead and put in the eviction by that time we're up to like $2,700 that we would have to pay okay. to stay there plus trying to get the rent for the next month so we were like we just threw our hands up and when I tell you the day that um <laughs> it's policy, I, I clutch my pearls like what yes the day yeah. that um <laughs> The day that we actually uh, got this place, they pulled our credit. When they, when we applied, technically we weren't evicted yet, right? <laughs> but when they pulled the credit, it was the same day that they put it on our credit report. And it oh was wow! That eviction, I was done. Yeah, sure. I was like, forget it. We're going to stay at a hotel. We're just going to have to stay in our car. I don't know what we're going to do. I was crying. I was freaking out, panicking. I was one of the times that I lost it. And he was like, baby, just write him a letter. You know, let's just write him a letter and just tell them what happened. You know, um, you know, just 
explain the situation. By the time he calmed me down, because it took a minute, we went through it, we wrote a letter, and then we started doing research on an actual rental company and find out we wasn't the only ones that dealt with that from them. So I was able mm -hmm. to show them proof that you know what we were saying was true because other people dealt with it. Mm -hmm. And when they seen that, the rental agency here, they sent it to the owners, and the owners is what gave us a chance. Right. And they they okay. said, give them a chance. Let's give them a chance. Just put an extra three hundred dollars no, on for the deposit. It, it, no, it was extra two hundred dollars. It was two hundred dollars. Extra two hundred dollars. That's what I was gonna say. They offer us a lot of them that do that, and they just charge you like an extra yeah um, fee on top of your deposit. Yeah, and that's, and that's what they did. And yeah, we even late. We even here. late. Since. We've never been late. We've been here for seven years, going on um uh, in January. We've never been late. Never missed a payment, Ooh. nothing, you know, but it was just, it was that situation that was just an unfortunate situation that- I look at stuff like that and be like, that was just God's way of removing you from that place to put you somewhere better. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Everybody yeah. Gotta go yeah. through something yeah. to get. Yeah. Both started working again. Yeah, when we moved here, <laughs> yeah. we both found the job just like that. Yep. You weren't supposed to be there. <laughs> Exactly. So it was, it, I mean, like, and that's what I mean by we went through some hard times. So we have that eviction on our credit and we didn't know to be able to call them and say, well, can we say, well, first of all, we were angry. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was angry. I was, I was angry. I was like, I'm not paying them. But right. <laughs> known that we could have do a pay for delete. That could have probably made things a little bit easier for us. Yeah, because you could have offered them a lesser amount than what they was trying to get, which was without all those extra fees. Exactly. Exactly. And see, this is where you come in at. This is where, you know, you, your knowledge come in at with helping people like us. So we appreciate that from you. Yes. I, I enjoy helping people. I like everybody to buy houses. We're going to all buy houses. Right. <laughs> right. I'm going to be like, Oprah, you get a house, you get a house, you right. get a house. Let's yeah, go. Get a house. That's right. <laughs> So I, I got your phone number going at the bottom here. So if people want to get in contact with you, you know, they can call you directly. I'm at 813-730-7414. And then we got the email address, info at Perry and Associates LLC.org. You guys send her an email, hit her up, go to her website, check her out. So before we wrap up the show. Perry and um, Associates LLC. Yes. Before we wrap up the show, please, please, please. Um, Whatever you want to say, whatever shout outs you have, you know, any other contact information, your other businesses, go ahead. This is your time. Yep. It's all you. Awesome. So, um, I really don't have anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I already gave you all of my information. They know how to contact me. I am the only person answering phones. So I do want to say if you call me and I don't answer, please leave me a message so I know who to call back. Great. And um, and you do. Are you still doing taxes? Yes, I am doing taxes this year. Um, If you follow my Facebook page, which is Mrs. Perry and Associates LLC, if you follow that page, I will actually let you know when they're going to start accepting taxes. I do tax tips around tax time for different things that may help you look out for so that you can prepare for your taxes. And I am taking new clients. I only charge $65 um, starting for regular taxes. If it's business taxes, it all depends on what you need, but we can schedule an appointment to talk about it. Wonderful. See, you did have something to share. See, see, <laughs> see. All the information you're trying to hide right. to yourself. That's awesome. Right. <laughs> okay, well, we have, like I said, we have your contact information. Thank you so much, Ms. Perry. It's been great. Mrs. Perry. Mrs. Perry, it's yeah, been she's married. Great. She's like, okay, hey, wait, wait, before, yeah. do you have anything else that you want to say, though, Ms. Perry? Mrs. Perry. Mrs. Perry. Ms. Do I have Perry. <laughs> what did so you do, ask me? No, I'm saying, do you have anything as far as you know your business and stuff like that? I mean, as far as your test stuff, anything that did we miss that you wanted to make sure no. that people are aware of? Uh, they can still contact me the same way for either service, credit repair, or um income taxes. I do um want to let you guys know that I do teach classes too. So I do teach you how to repair your own credit if you would like to learn. Um, I just had a class. Sunday, my next class is not going to be until January. I'm not going to do any more classes the rest of this year, but I will announce when my next class is going to start in January. And my classes are only $97. And how long, how long are the classes? It's one hour. Oh, well, damn. Wow. So one nine seven. That is right. That's a nice little come up right there. Right. 97 hours. But, yeah. <laughs> and if they need, if they're trying to start their own credit repair business, that course is a little bit longer. 
Okay. But it's the same price, but I give you other information that makes you set up for your business, like what you need to know to actually have a lucrative credit repair business. Oh, wow. Look at you Man. being fruitful and blessing folks. You go ahead, Latoya. That's awesome. But I tell you, I'm going to pay you to help me repair my yeah, credit. I ain't got I'm time to, brother. I'm going to come January, but I'm going to pay you before that. I'm not going to lie. I'm not taking the yeah, class. Yeah, we just I'm <laughs> I'm taking a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Um, well, if, if you want to see any new things that we have, I'm always adding new stuff. So just follow my business page. That'll be where you could go to learn everything that you need to know. That wonderful. Well, we appreciate that information. Okay. Well, I guess um, yeah, it's 7:45 on the nose. Yep. You have any shout outs? Um, yes, actually, I have a lot of business owner friends, small business owner friends. So let me see. Do anybody have anything going on? I don't know anybody have anything going on, but you guys can go follow my friends. So you can go follow Angel Plum Pastry. She makes the best cakes, sweets and treats, cookies, cupcakes, whatever you need. You can go follow Fee's Kitchen. All of these are on Facebook as well as Instagram. Fee has the best seafood in Georgia and she travels to Florida. So you need to contact her and my homegirl, Tamara. Tamara does everything. Actually, you guys can contact Tamara too when you start back recording because she's an actress. She does dance. She does all kind of stuff. Awesome. Wonderful. Okay. Well, look at that. Go ahead, Tamara. We, 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 we'll be looking for you. <laughs> I love how you shouted out your friends. I know that's right. Yeah, all my friends are bosses. Oh, I forgot. Let me shout out my friend Shaquilla too. Y'all need somebody to come and do your parties? She do parties. She does all kind of decorations. She teach classes to teach you how to do events, all kind of stuff. Her name is Shaquilla Shannon on Facebook. Her uh, business is Larger Than Life. Okay. Oh, awesome. Shaquilla, what's her name? Shaquilla. Shannon. 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 What kind, what kind yeah. of party she do? Because what well, they like Shaquilla, like she do some kind of, you know, adult she, party. She do events, so she can decorate any kind of party you want to have. Okay. All right. Because <laughs> she, got, she, got, she got one of those adult names, like Shaquilla. <laughs> We do we do adult party <laughs> decorations. I mean, if you, you want to have an adult party, I'm sure she can decorate it for you. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. I didn't discuss it. I'm just I'm just putting the correlation to the name there, you know. Okay, <laughs> that's all I'm doing. All right, all well, right. cool. We appreciate you, and we're looking out for whatever you got going on, and definitely be checking out for TPN with Bobby and Renee, obviously. Uh, how we do this every first and two first and third Tuesday yes. of the month. So. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Miss Perry. Um, and you know, yeah. Uh, so we'll be getting back with you soon. We're gonna, of course, um, put in the chat thank yous to you. Um, but we will definitely be hitting you up about this whole credit repair, ma'am. All right, I'll be looking forward to working with you guys. All right, thank you. thank you. Have a great night. Bye -bye. You too. Bye. 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 All right, guys, that was a great, great show. I mean, we got Very some good information. So yes. I hope you guys um been listening and taking notes. I know Renee has. Uh, I wasn't taking any notes because why well, I got to do it. What she I'm taking, it. right. I'm taking, I have <laughs> my notes. I have everything that she said. Plus I have direct access to her. So I will be hitting her up. Yeah. And um, shout out to Sarah too. Yes. Thank you, Sarah, for um the connection. You didn't even know you were making a connection at that yep. time, but you actually did. We've been watching her every since. You put that post up there. We've been trying to get her on the show, but you know, of course, like we said, um, things happened, and um, so we're back. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna are we gonna finish out the year. Or how we yeah, we're gonna finish out the year. So you know, okay. we're, we're, we'll do another video after this one. Okay, so we're gonna do another video after this one, telling you how to you know send us an email to uh, get on the show. Yep. All right, so like we're gonna end this video like we do all of the rest of our videos, and um, I need to go cook. And yeah, uh, watch this uh, election stuff. So, yeah. all right. So, one, two, three, and peace. peace. We out of here.